Hello kids. In today's class, we'll be doing the topic isobars. Now before I actually define isobars, I'll be using an example to explain the concept. Example of isobars is calcium, 20 is the atomic number, 40 is the mass number. And argon, 18 is the atomic number and 40 is the mass number. As you can see, these two are different elements. One is calcium, the other is argon. They don't belong to the same element. What's common? 40. And what's 40? The mass number. Now let's compare these two identities one by one. Let's begin with the atomic number. When I talk about the atomic number, what's the atomic number for calcium? It's 20. What's the atomic number for argon? It's 18. That is where they differ. Moving to the mass number. If I talk about the mass number, the mass number for calcium is 40. Mass number for argon is also 40, which means they have same mass number. Moving to the number of protons. Number of protons is same as the atomic number. So the number of protons is 20, which means there are 20 positive charges in calcium. When I talk about argon, then it is 18 is the number of protons. So the number of positive charges are different. Talking about number of electrons. Electrons are the negative identities. Since I have no charge mentioned on either this nor this means both of them are neutral identities. And if they are neutral means their number of protons and electrons should remain same. Hence, if I talk about calcium, the number of protons is 20. So the number of electrons would also be 20. Whereas if I talk about argon, the number of protons is 18, so the number of electrons will also be 18. Again, there is a difference here. Coming to the number of neutrons. How do you calculate the number of neutrons? Neutrons are calculated by mass number minus the atomic number. So mass number is 40 minus the atomic number is 20, so the number of neutrons is 20. Mass number is 40, atomic number is 18, the number of neutrons in this case would be how much? Calculate. 22. Again, they differ. But when you talk about the sum of protons plus the neutrons, that's 20 plus 20, that's 40. 18 plus 22, that's 40. Then the sum remains the same. Let's talk about the EC. EC is the electronic configuration. The number of electrons is 20. So the electronic configuration would be 2, 8, 8 and 2. K, L, M, N, N. The number of electrons is 18. So the electronic configuration would be 2, 8, 8. Again, there's a difference. So in this case, there are 4 shells occupied. In this case, there are 3 shells occupied. What is the number of valence electrons? Valence electrons are the last shell electrons. So the valence electrons are 2 in case of calcium. Whereas in this case, the valence electrons are 8. The valency. Valency for calcium would be either 2 or 8 minus 2, whichever is less. 8 minus 2 is 6, so the valency would be 2. Coming to this, the valency would be either 8 or 8 minus 8, that is 0, so the valency is 0. This is a noble gas. Coming to the chemical properties. Now, chemical properties are dependent on electronic configuration. So, since the electronic configuration is different, the chemical properties will not be same. They would be different. In fact, this is a metal while this is a noble gas. Definitely there is a difference between the two. Coming to the mass. Mass is 40 U for calcium and it is 40 U for R. So when we talk about the mass, the mass is 40 U, the mass is 40 U, so the mass is same. If the mass is same, the physical properties would be similar. Now, on the basis of the data that we have just done, let's define the isobars. Isobars are atoms of different elements having different atomic number but same mass number. So I repeat, atoms of different elements with different atomic numbers but same mass numbers. Since the atomic numbers are different, the chemical properties would be different but since they are mass number remains same, the physical properties are similar. So, 
with this I close the topic on isobars. That was for class 9th. Thank you. Bless you all.